Well, during the monsoon, we often see thunderstorms that really kick up a large amount of blowing dust. But yesterday's storm was much more than that. So you may have heard, uh, you know, dust storm versus haboob. Meteorologist Chris Dunn is here now with the difference between these two. All right, tell us, Chris. Okay, so haboob, it is a term that originated in Africa, yes, but it has been used across the U.S. and around the world for decades. So think about this. The most dramatic kind of dust storm we get here in the desert, like we had last night, that's really the difference. For a dust storm to get the label of a haboob, it's all about the size and intensity of that wall of dust. Don't go out over the next hour or so. Yeah, you can see that wall. Uh, look, and now we're hitting the Santan in, Valley. Into the valley, right. And we are giving you different various angles of this huge wall of dust that is really swallowing up the valley. What we watched unfold here on 12 News could be considered as a dust storm or the most intense type of dust storm, a haboob. It's a giant wall of brown dust, thousands of feet tall, rolling across the desert and swallowing up the valley. So what's the difference between an ordinary dust storm and what we encountered yesterday? A dust storm is exactly what it sounds like. Strong winds lifting sand, soil, and dirt up into the air, cutting visibility and making travel dangerous. Cars are still moving, honestly, which I'm surprised by because we are really about to be in the thick of this here. Smaller dust storms can happen anytime we get gusty winds. A haboob, though, is special. Here's how it works. A thunderstorm builds up tall and heavy. When it collapses, a powerful downdraft slams into the ground. That air rushes outward in all directions like water spreading across a floor. As it pushes across the desert, it scoops up tons of loose dirt and dust, lifting it sky high into a massive wall. The result? A haboob, a fast-moving, intense wall of dust that can stretch for miles, tower thousands of feet high, and turn day into night in just minutes. It's much more than just your typical dust storm. And while they're incredible to watch, they're also incredibly dangerous. On the highways, visibility can drop to zero. At Sky Harbor, we saw a number of flight delays and diversions. Even health officials warn the dust can worsen breathing problems and the spread of valley fever. So... So that label of a haboob, it's typically reserved for the biggest and the baddest dust storms of them all. And by the way, there is no real specific criteria to qualify a dust storm as being called a haboob. That's really just more of a judgment call. Tram? Fascinating look. Great explainer, Chris. Thank you.